Hey guys, for this video I want to show you this 20 pack of bearings by Sack Orange that I recently picked up to put in the wheels of a little walker guy, but these types of bearings are used for all sorts of applications and I took one apart because a little, uh, just to show you what's inside there. Now if we look at my original bearing, you can see this thing was completely shot, all rusted up and started falling apart on me. but if you have access to the, a bearing that you are replacing usually along the side somewhere you'll be able to find the number of it and that's how I was able to find these bearings for replacing it now if we need to put it in a wheel like this and it has to actually get pressed in the easiest thing to do is take a socket and this is a 14 millimeter it's actually a little bit too small but that's what I had you want it to line up with the outer edge of your bearing but if you're going past the rim here, like on this side where it's sunk in, you want to be on the outer edge, but it has to be able to go in there. So get yourself a little socket, give it a little tappy tap until it is all the way in place. Now if we look at this bearing, so this is the one I just took off. You got to take this little outer shield guy off and uh, you're probably ruining it when you do that. But I just wanted to show you guys and this guy's here because a bunch of people said there was grease in these things now I'm not an expert and they do kinda stick together in there like there's some kind of an oil or some substance in there but I'm not looking dry looks dry to me looks kinda dry so I would definitely add grease to these bearings or at the very least shoot them with some kind of a lubricant maybe some white lithium grease or whatever you have around do something for them uh, WD-40's water-based will evaporate. You don't want to use that. Use an actual grease. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching.